guys welcome back okay so today i wanted to play in some new makeup items that i got in my collection these products might not be new to the market but they're new to my collection and i want to try them out today the main one being these iman complexion products now when i did my shop my stash i did pull my iman foundation that i just picked up this one I'll put the information on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna try out the foundation. I also got a couple of powders from Iman that I wanna try out. And I forgot when I was doing my Shop My Stash that I actually picked up the concealer from their website. And I believe this was the only like wet concealer that they had on there. So I wanna try that out as well. Another item that I forgot to grab during my shop my stash which I knew I wanted to grab was this Kosas bronzer I got this a little while back and definitely want to try this out today so yeah we're going to be trying out some Iman complexion as well as I want to do a quick eye look with this girl meets makeup eyeshadow palette one of the black owned brands that I discovered and wanted to try out so I purchased this eyeshadow palette which is called gloomy <laughs> and like i said before in my shot my stash video she has a lot of eyeshadow palettes in this same style but she was sold out of a lot almost all of them except i was able to grab this one so i want to just do a quick eye look today using this and try out these complexion products and see what happens okay so let me go ahead prep my eyes with my p louise base and then we'll come back and jump into an eye look okay now that i have my eyelids prepped i'm gonna go ahead and jump into this palette i think i'm gonna start with this light shade here and i'm just going to take that on the upper portion of my lid really focusing it more on my brow bone Next, I'm gonna go into this beautiful orange shade and just kind of buff that into my crease. So now that I have that orange kind of just blown out all over my lid and in my crease, I'm just taking a clean brush just to kind of soften out the edges and get a better blend. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this really pretty wine shade and just focus that in my crease as well. Now I'm going back in and just adding a bit of that orange on top of that wine shade because it got a little bit lost. And I really love how these colors are blending together. They're very nicely pigmented. I think with this palette, maybe going in from dark to light um, is what will make the colors pop the best. Cause I noticed going in with that orange and then going in with the wine shade, it kind of overpowered the orange. But now that I'm going back in and just adding a bit of that orange, you know, on the edge of that wine shade, it's really, really popping <laughs> and showing up very, very nicely. So yeah. Okay, so I do want to add some color to my lid. So I'm going to go into this really pretty kind of orange tone shimmer shadow and place that on my mobile lid area. So 
so this is a really really pretty color it's more i don't know if you guys can tell but it's more like a drier type of shimmer if that makes sense like it's not even really a satin I don't really know how to describe it but it's more of a satin than a shimmer but it's more of a drier type of satin if that makes sense i don't know if you can really see that but it is it's kind of like a dry satin but it's a very very pretty color okay so now i'm going to go ahead and just add some of my nyx black liquid eyeliner and then we can move on to some of these iman complexion products Okay, so before I go in with any concealer or foundation, I wanna use some of this Perlis Matcha Green Tea Moisturizing Primer. So I'm just gonna use some of this today. And I've already really moisturized my face a lot this morning, so I really don't need too much added moisture. But I do have a tendency to wipe underneath my eyes a lot after I do my eye makeup just to make sure I don't have any fallout before I put on my foundation. And this moisturizing primer is very, very lightweight, not heavy at all. And before I go in with foundation, I'm gonna do what I always do. So my regular routine is to go in and just kind of, you know, take care of my dark circles a bit with a concealer that's kind of close to my skin tone. So this is the NYX HD Photo Studio Photogenic <laughs> Concealer. And I have the shade 07.5. a bit of that around my mouth as well mustache and hyperpigmentation <laughs> okay so in this iman foundation i have the shade earth one and this is what it looks like I'm not sure if I want to use a brush with this or a sponge. So this is the color that I have. And hmm, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I think I'm gonna use a sponge cause it's actually quite thick and opaque. So I think I'm gonna use a sponge, a damp sponge. So I'm going to take one pump and see how far that goes. Okay, so that is one pump. I'm going in with just a tiny bit more for my forehead. Okay, so this is basically one pump. Very nice coverage. And I think that the shade is going to work for me. Not bad. Not bad. And I like the finish. It has kind of like a nice, healthy glow type of a finish. Maybe semi-matte. Not bad. I like it. I'm going to try and put a little bit more here in my hyperpigmentation areas but i think the coverage is very nice okay so now let's check out this concealer mm. it looks like the shade on the concealer is just earth if i remember correctly there was only one shade available on the website but don't quote me on that but yeah i believe it says earth if not i'll put it on the screen but this is what the applicator looks like I'm not really a big fan of twist up applicators for concealer because <laughs> it's like, 
you think nothing is coming out and then all of a sudden you have this huge amount of concealer. So let's twist. Okay, I can see it coming through. You can see it there now. It actually looks kind of dark. I don't know if this is going to be light enough. Yeah, no, this is definitely like a correcting concealer. I wish I would have tried it out first because I would have used that under my eyes for, you know, concealing my dark circles instead of the NYX. But now I know this color is just for concealing, not brightening. So let me grab a brightening concealer. But just in case you're curious, I wanted to just show you. It does look a bit drier. You know, it doesn't look very hydrating <laughs> at all. So in case you're thinking about purchasing it, yeah. It definitely, oh yeah. And it's not even, oh Lord, it's not even blending out. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's like wherever you put it, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> so yeah. I'm glad I didn't just go in with that under my eyes. Okay, so I did pull this Essence Camouflage Concealer to use for my Shop My Stash this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this out. This is in the shade Dark Caramel. And I just want a little bit, not a lot. definitely a nice color for brightening you can see how it just kind of brightened under my eyes and my nose and everything so yeah and it didn't take a lot as you saw for it to brighten up and it blended out very nicely so okay essence I ain't mad at you very affordable so let's check out this Iman powder this is one of the translucent powders I believe luxury translucent in the shade clay medium so I'm just going to use this in my highlighted areas okay so it's not bad not bad at all um, it's not my favorite. I have others that I already know that I like better than this, but it's not bad. It's actually setting pretty nicely. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't have anything amazing to say about it. It just, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> we'll see how my under eyes look by the time I'm finished applying everything. Okay, so next I have this luxury powder in the shade Earth Dark. So I'm going to use this on the rest of my face. Okay, very nice powder. I really, really like it. It's a little bit deeper. If you can see, it kind of created those natural shadows on my face um, that the foundation just took away. You know, when putting on foundation and it kind of makes you look flat. And so with this powder, because the shade is a little bit richer, a little bit warmer for me than the foundation, it really brought my whole face together. So I like that. And it's a pretty decent powder. It's setting everything. Nice even tone, not patchy or anything. I like it a lot. It's not too heavy either. So very, very nice. 
So like I said in the beginning, I do want to try out this Kosas bronzer. I have the shade Deep. So let's see if we can bronze up a little bit with this Kosas. And it does release a lot of products, so be careful. <laughs> you don't have to go in like crazy like I did. Ooh. Let me just tap first just to see what's happening. Okay, yeah, that's a bronzer. <laughs> Hello. And I'm using a brush that's kind of like rounded, more so rounded on the tip. This is one of my Do You Care brushes, but it's very rounded on the tip as you can see, just because I want to have more control as far as where I'm putting and blending this bronzer out. Sometimes, depending on the bronzer, if it's not as pigmented, I'll go in with a big fluffy brush and just kind of, you know, hit all the areas that I want to hit. But since this one is so nicely pigmented, oh, and I love the tone of this. Oh my gosh, it says bronzer. I got to be careful because I will put on too much real quick. And I'm going to take this double-ended brush. It's a sculpting duo brush that I got in my BoxyCharm. And I'm going to use the smaller end and just, just do just a little bit. You guys know I really don't contour my nose, but since I'm bronzing up today, I just want to add just a little bit on the sides of my nose. since it's such a really nice shade of bronzer. I mean, it is really nice. And for blush and highlight today, I'm gonna use this palette that my girl Lily sent me. This is the Natasha Denona Blush, Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting this palette like for my whole life, my whole life. <laughs> So, and I know with this palette, you have to basically take a master class to know how to use it. So let me do some swatches and figure this out. Okay, so this is the whole palette swatched messily. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so let me see here. Okay, so, ooh, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to tap a bit of blush. Tap a bit of blush, and then I'm probably gonna use my sponge and go in with some of this down here. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, you guys, pray for me. I'm going in with some of this blush on a damp sponge. Okay. Oh, she pretty. Oh, she pretty. Yes. Okay. <laughs> not too much. Not too much. Just blend it out and take it. Take it easy. Blend it out. And take it easy. Okay. Okay. I can see how even with using a sponge. You can like do too much. It can get crazy if you're not careful. Mm, Cause it's so pretty. Okay. And it's one of those things where you can't, sometimes you can't even really see it until you kind of pull back and then it's like, bam, okay. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. I like it. Okay, so next I wanna go in with 
this down here because that was like calling my name. And I'm gonna use like the side of my sponge. Yo, okay. Okay, we're not gonna be scared today. We're not gonna be scared. Yo. Oh. oh, that's so pretty. So pigmented. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to flip the sponge around and use a clean side to kind of soften it up. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Y'all, I feel like I'm doing the most today <laughs> with this Natasha Denona highlight and blush. I feel like I'm doing the most. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. <laughs> okay, I officially love this. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the lower portion of my eyes. I am going to take my black pencil eyeliner and just do a little bit of eyeliner on the bottom. I feel like my hair is all over the place right now. <laughs> we family, it's all right. <laughs> we family. Okay, so I'm going to go back into this wine shade here and just smoke out my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go back into that orange shade and just use that right below that wine color. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an inner corner pop and then I'll put on some mascara and we can move on to my Iman lipstick that I picked up. So for my inner corner pop, I think, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it gold. So I'm gonna go with this gold since I have all of this gold highlight on today. <laughs> Very nicely pigmented. Okay, you guys, so I did pick up one of the lipsticks off of the Iman website. I'll put the name on the screen because honey is too small for me to be trying to read right now. So let me just show you what this color looks like. Very, very pretty. I think I showed this in my um, little beauty chat video. Very, very pretty color. But I am going to go in with my new lip liner that I got from the Tammy and Revolution collection. I believe it's called Glory. And I'm going to line my lips with this first. Okay, I have my lips lined, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Iman lipstick. Okay, so it's definitely like a drier matte formula, I would say. It's not like super creamy and, you know, full of moisture and rich. It's definitely a drier matte formula so I think I'll probably end up putting a gloss on top of this but the color is very very nice very pretty I like it with this eye look too okay so let me grab a gloss I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my elf mocha twist you guys know this is like one of my favorite glosses to use And it doesn't really take away from the color of this lipstick. It's a nice combination. Okay, so yeah, I like it. I think I like it much better with the gloss on top. Although the color is very pretty, it's a more drier matte look than I like for my little wrinkled lips, okay? <laughs> 
but it's really pretty with the gloss. So this is the final look for today, you guys. I would say that overall, I'm really pleased with all the products I used today. I really like this Iman foundation. I think it looks really good on my skin. I think the color I chose works well for me. And it's just kind of a nice, healthy look. Coverage is nice. I really like it. I am a bit disappointed that the concealer that I chose is not one that I can use to brighten with. And when I put it on my hand, it didn't look like it was going to blend out very easily. So I don't really have high hopes for that. Even using it, you know, for under my eyes and stuff, I might have to mix it with like an oil or a moisturizer or something. But other than that, the powders, I think, look really nice. <sighs> that Kosas bronzer. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that Kosas bronzer, okay? Because, honey, I'm feeling it. And that Natasha Denona palette with the blush and the highlight. Uh, everything I think just came together nicely. The eyeshadow, very, very pretty. I wouldn't say that it's like an amazing eyeshadow palette, like one of my new favorites, but it is a nice palette. It does work very nicely. So if you wanna check them out, I would suggest looking up the website, Girl Meets Makeup. I'll have it in the description box below because she does have some really, really pretty eyeshadow palettes on her website. So overall, I'm satisfied. I am, I'm satisfied with my face today. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you guys had a good time hanging out with me to try out these products and create this look. Let me know what you think down in the description box and we can chat, okay? So thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles! Wow.